Well, I'm out here in the garden and uh, we're doing an action video looking at the bumblebee. So this is my cherry tree and it's amazing blossom this Easter and the bees are all over it. There's one. So the question is, we all know that bees like flowers, but the question is, what are they there for? Well, it's very simple really. The bees are attracted by sweet nectar and that sweet nectar is produced by the flower. And then of course, when the bee comes along and touches the filaments with pollen on, the pollen is transferred onto the honeybee's legs. And then that honeybee goes to a different flower. And of course, on this tree alone, there are hundreds and hundreds of flowers. So it could be that it pollinates this particular cherry, so flower to flower, or it could pollinate a completely different tree. So here we've got very large flowers. And you can see there, if I go in close, we can see the pollen on the filaments there. Those yellow tips against the white flowers. Now there are literally, there must be 20 bees. And I think there's a few wasps all hovering around my cherry tree. And they only come out for Easter. There we are. Let's see if we can find another one. Let's see. Let's go out a little. See if we can pick one more up. They're very quick, unfortunately. But cheesy to pick out with the naked eye. There's a couple more. See, they're moving across the blue sky, can't you? Now then, if we look to the other cherry tree, so let's move on down here. Get really close in. Now then, interesting. Now you won't see it on the camera, but there are several small flies that are attending on this smaller cherry tree, but it's a similar process in effect. If we can try and get in a bit closer. There, right in the middle of the picture. Can you see that? Now, that's another insect. That's an ant on that middle flower. It's shaking the flower, in fact. And what's it after? It's after the nectar. And of course, it's a similar process. Let's go underneath, go out a bit. There, can you see on the autofocus? Now we've got it. Look at the size of that ant. There it is. And that's a similar process. You can see the pollen there, can't you? Just hanging down, but that ant's all over it. So, that's my Easter uh, video. It's not a physics one. It's not Friday, so it's uh, Tuesday, and it's biology fun.